There's one thing like that I can say. Well, just backpedal a bit to the first two bands. Yeah. Um, I felt kind of old listening to them because I'm like, I don't understand this. Why is this good music to be like the I I, I like rap and this was better than gangster rap that's on TV. But it's like I I just can't get into this for more than a couple songs. Oh, no. I I think the the problem was, and I think that it's like that at most concerts is you sort of get it gets really really loud. So when a lot of the back bass is like rocking like the entire stadium, then you really get the words completely drowned out. So a lot of the time, I really didn't understand what he was singing about, and that's that's sort of makes you sort of disengage because you're like, well, I can't understand what he's saying. But when you do get it and you try to go with the music and the beat instead, they did a really good job. Like I was bopping my head to a couple of their tunes. But they they each each group did something that was pretty pretty cool. But I mean, I just like I was just thinking like sitting here, I'm like, you know what? I sound like my parents. <laughs> like I don't understand this generation. Like yeah. it's something my mom's been saying a lot. Like, well, this yeah. gener, when you got the ticket, is that wrong? I don't understand this generation. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> Thanks. But um, but no, it's like, it's like, man, like, cause I, cause the thing, I think the thing that really bugged me is like, why are two rap groups opening for a pop punk band? I mean, they're really yeah. With Webster, now. wasn't really a rap but, group. They kind of were half. Actually, half. actually, probably the the people that you could somewhat compare them to is a little bit of Linkin Park. You know, like yeah. they had that sort of that rhythmic sort of singing, and then they had a little bit of rap sort of thrown in there. Mm -hmm. I but Linkin really... Park's really unique to other stuff that's in the new metal genre, if you can even put it in that. But yeah. Um, but anyways, back to the show. Uh, where were we? We were at uh, Fallout and Facebook pictures. Yeah. Um, there was that one moment where everything was silent and um, Josh was standing, he was standing up on the M and he had his arms like spread out wide and he had his eyes closed and everybody was cheering. It's like that magical moment when you know that he he's just basking in it and he's he's so considerate about all the fans. Like every yeah. every single moment he's he got, he's so humbled by he, he's so humbled yeah. like, by his fame and everything. The funny thing is, he talked about the first time they played at the Trash, and sadly, in my town, the Trashateria isn't around anymore. It's a burger joint now. Okay. And the Trash. I saw a lot of shows at the Trash Terrier. Well, not a lot, a good chunk. But uh, he's like, last time we were here, fifteen people came and saw us at the Trash. Yeah. And man. now 6,000. And he kept bringing yeah. it up. He was like, really? He's like, man, really? The trash Trashateria? Yeah. <laughs> like, I think he just, like, the name just, like, went, why would you call the place that? Yeah. And it, it, the trash Trashateria was cool, but it, it kind of went after a couple of years, but, yeah. and now it's gone. But anyways, like, I just thought it was cool that he's like, seriously? The trash? <laughs> I, it was, I played at the trash Trashateria. But it, it's something like that type of name will stick with him, and mm -hmm. he. It's interesting to note that he remembers everything. Like mm -hmm. some some people don't let, like they let the fame take over, mm -hmm. and like some of the small stuff just disappears. Where is you could definitely see that Josh was but always more into than it. half the pictures that they show on the Facebook thing they were in, and that's and that's not to make them seem like. Uh, vapid or whatever. It's like because they what actually the fans care. Submitted. No, yeah. the fans. The, the submitted fans submitted those. them, and they actually care about their fan base. So many bands don't care, and it's it's interesting yeah. to see. Like, and I could say, you know, every band, a lot of bands will say, "Thank you guys for coming out and all that stuff. You guys made us famous, whatever." But yeah. it, it felt legit because he kept he had to keep reminding us that uh, yeah, like, yeah, you know, they're people. And people yeah. need to stop freaking out. Like, mm -hmm. yes, it's amazing. They're very talented, but you don't have to fall all over yourself and claim that you're in love with them. That's you just. Okay, like we're getting them. Out way off topic here, yeah. but um, anyways, let's see. We were at fall. We're past Fallout. We were past. Oh, you 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 said the thing about oh Jesus. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and when you <laughs> went to go to the bathroom, they they had this light in the middle that shone bright on us. We were just like. Yeah. Are we? See. Oh, we're gonna die. Are we dead? Are dead? And I was just like, <laughs> Psh, I just hit. Yeah. And he's like, No, I'm no, 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 great. It, yeah. And we were just like, Oh, it was, it was crazy. But, but yeah, well, and then towards the end there, um, what what he does at every concert is he gets everybody to tweet. I don't know if it's just from the concert or from just in general of his fan base to have him sing a song, a at cover, the con a cover at the concert. And they brought out the uh, they brought out the white piano. Yeah, and. and uh, 
um, we we got lucky, and I, I recognized it right away because it's a, a really awesome song that I love from the Foo Fighters, which was Everlong. And whoever voted on that, if anybody's watching this, awesome, awesome job. You did a great job for sort of like saying, well, I don't really know how to play this, so I'm going to try my best to play it on piano. And it just shows you how talented he is. Because he was on drums, he played his piano, he yeah, was well, playing was... like eight different guitars. I, I think I remember seeing an interview where he spoke about um, being from like a musical family so he he was raised on that stuff i think so it was easy yeah. for him to pick it up right after he did everlong he did play the song that uh he wrote he wrote when he was getting over his addiction to uh, yeah Her mother Her mother dearest uh, lover dearest lover dearest now okay. it's it, it's based on from what i remember is they had to write a love letter to their drug drug and like he couldn't do it but he could do a song or something i'm I'm not too clear. He made you know. it into a song. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, he wrote the letter, and then he took the letter, and then put it on his first album. Mm -hmm. He actually turned it into a song. Mm hmm So was that's it on Fix pretty me? crazy. I thought it was on Fix Me. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe he wrote it, was one of the first songs he wrote for the... But it was, it was interesting, because he doesn't do it very often, because it strains his voice. And when he actually said, "All right, I'll I'll sing it," his band sort of came in one by one as uh, as they were as he was singing and playing on the piano, and then it turned into this huge orchestral sort of, you know, like everybody. And you could definitely see the guys were definitely into it just as much as he was. And they ended. What did they end end with? What was the end of the song? Ever after is that the end? Uh, yes, it was. Well, what no, was it? The um, end of the deluxe. Yes, uh, the deluxe edition of Ever After had um, like sort of remixes, mashups at the end of it, and uh, that's what they were playing, that's what they were singing, yeah. mm. was, was some of the mashups. Yeah, which and ended with an awesome crescendo. Yeah, it just... By, by then, I was, like, blown away. I was like, wow, I... Th talk about, like, uh, underestimation of the year. Yeah. Like, I was not expecting this. And the f best thing was, he came in from a... from, from the... From, from the, the trapeze again. From yeah. the trapeze at the start, and that's how he left. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, and then they all got up on the back, they bowed like it was a play, and the thing went down. It went down, and then we saw them no more. Yeah. And we all left. Well, I got a t-shirt. Well, you bought a t-shirt. Sexy t-shirt. Thank you. Yeah. You got me this. I, I was money. bummed that I didn't get a picture <laughs> with the guys. This guy's rich. Though. This guy. Don't I don't have that much money. This guy. Wait, no. I got that. Anyways, um, so yeah, that was the concert. It was really awesome. I'm not gonna let any, I'm not gonna let anybody say anything bad about that band anymore. They're really cool, and mm -hmm. even even though I'm not the biggest fan of them, I want to check out more of their music. And mm -hmm. uh, I was glad I went to this concert. And I feel like every penny that was spent on it was that I haven't paid you back for yet. <laughs> was it was well spent? Like it was worth yeah. it. The only Man, thing I have, yeah. To, yeah? Sorry, I just wanted to be like, I'm so happy that this concert took, like, my concert virginity. Yeah, you you really got a show for your first concert. My first so. time. Thank you, That's, guys. Yeah. Yes. The only thing I'm worried about is if you see, like, a your next concert and it's not as good, you'll be like, that sucked. That sucked. I'm going to go back to Mariana's Trench. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we got to take this girl to Alice Cooper. Oh, I, oh yeah. I actually haven't been to an Alice Cooper song. I don't oh, snap yeah. like that, ever. Oh, there's, yeah, there's no Z snapping here. <laughs> I'm not ghetto like yeah. that. That's your master. <laughs> it's pretty bad that three white people sitting on a couch could do that. That's your master. <laughs> yeah, I guess he has an excuse. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, do you have any final thoughts? Um, no, I just, I just enjoy my time, and I, I really got into it towards the end, and unfortunately I was the coat slash bag, so I couldn't actually get up, even though I kind of wanted to. What? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't get up yeah. because I like sitting. Yeah. I tried to take my stuff <laughs> well, from you, you, and then you kind of grabbed make, it. Yeah. And the other thing is, I make a better door and a window, so if somebody was sitting behind me, I didn't want to block it. <laughs> I understand, but yeah, like, uh, but definitely Cassie got up, and she just like danced I said, her heart away. during Stutter, I was doing the dance because I'm such a dork. <laughs> But yeah, like just like Zero said, this this band is, like I, I'm I'm a late bloomer and <laughs> I'm, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's really I, I can't believe it. They're so entertaining, and I was warned that he would lose his voice halfway through, but he just got better. He did. It was got, it was stronger. Yeah. By the so, end. <laughs> okay, okay. If uh, you're probably not gonna watch this, but Josh, green tea is really. 
Green, green, tea. green tea. Green tea. A little bit of honey. A little bit of honey. <laughs> Trust me, I used to do screaming vocals for bands. Oh yeah, he did scream that out a while ago. <laughs> that, that really hurts. <laughs> so, um, tea at warm water while you're while you're doing it. Cold water after. It's oh, good too. Go. Not that I need to be giving you advice because you're probably a better musician than I am. But anyways. <laughs> But if you're worried about losing your voice, man, I mean, just one tip to another brother. Anyways, yeah. um, just like they thank the audience, we want to thank the band yeah, like for playing, all the bands for playing, uh, mostly Marianne's Trench for doing an awesome job and mm -hmm. coming to Peterborough because they could have picked other places to come on their tour, but they chose Peterborough as one of the yeah. places. Because it, it meant something to them. And, and that's that's what the cool thing is about Marianne's Trench is, is if something happened in a certain place, they want to come back to that place. And, if you have even just the slightest interest in the band, like you're like me, where you liked a couple of their old hits. You like their songs, kind of, you remember go, them. Go see them live. It's, go. It's, it's not like, oh, it's, God, it's yeah. not like seeing any other band. Like, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's awesome. Even if you don't like the music, it's a great show. Like, I, I yeah. know people who like, like theater stuff, like Peterborough's a big theater town. Oh, it was very theatrical. So it's very, it's very yeah. theatrical, and it's really cheesy. So if you lack your cheese, yeah. like you it's know, it's not okay. And, I'd rather and, call and it even goofy. even though there was swearing and all that, the 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 actual thing on the ticket, good for all ages. We saw tons of people there from ages six all the way up to sixty. You know, six to sixty. You know, six to, six to sixty, and it, six, it was six, six. it was ridiculous. Like everybody was getting up. Everybody was joining the mosh pit towards the end there. Didn't matter who. I wanted to go down there. Well, why didn't you? You should have. Because. Uh, anyways, <laughs> go see this band. Thank you guys very much for putting on an awesome show. Uh -huh. We're going to play some video games. Oh, yeah. We're going to play some video games. Mortal Kombat. And, Mortal Kombat. Uh, right behind go, us. Right and there. Street Fighter together. <laughs> and before I go, because I haven't posted it on YouTube because they'll take it down, I have a new bite-sized review, borrowed the name from Blondie, on River City Gamers on an anime called Plastic Nissan. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be reviewing something pretty soon, so... Free advertisement. Free advertisement. Cassie Harvest Turner. Moon. Uh, I'm just going to start my own um, porno show and hopefully make tons of money on that. Mm -hmm. RiverCityGamers.wordpress.com Slash porno. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a wrap. <laughs> Take care, guys. See ya. Stay frosty. Ah!